Hello there. My name is Wendy Riggs and I'm here to uh, do a little video tutorial about how I record video lectures for my flipped biology classes. Now, if you're a biology student, you probably are like, dude, this is not interesting to me. But I actually get a lot of questions from people all over the place saying, you know, how, how do you record those video lectures of yours? And it's a rather complicated uh, process, and so I'm going to record a, what I think it's a five-part uh, tutorial on how I use Adobe Captivate 8.0 to record um, video lectures. A lot of it, I, I think I've been using Captivate since it was like 4.0 or maybe even 3.0 which is, like, I've been using Captivate for a long time, and so a lot of what I set up here originally was done as kind of a hack. Like, I, I really don't have a clue what I'm doing. So if you're watching this because you're like, oh, Captivate, I want a great tutorial on Captivate, this is not it. If you, you should be watching because you have, like, been to YouTube or you know me, and you've seen the kinds of video lectures that I put together, and you're, like, curious about how exactly that happens. My goal is to show you how I do it. If you're like, oh my gosh, there are 32 things that you could do, Wendy Riggs, that would make the video recording process easier for you, hallelujah, glory days, please send me a message and tell me how I can make it easier because there is nothing about this process that's easy. So I'm actually using an old version of Adobe Captivate to record a video of this new version of Adobe Captivate, and I'm going to show you how I use this. Okay. Is there anything else you need to know? Well, then let's get started with uh, figuring out, number one, how we're going to set up Captivate to do what we want it to do.